to tie better flies faster with the Norvice fly tying system. I'd like to take a look at the other part of the Norvice fly tying system, which is called the automatic bobbin. It's an integral part of the system, a key component. This is called a bobbin kit. It uh, is comprised of several things. Uh, first, the bobbin itself, a uh, beautiful little thing uh, made out of stainless steel and ceramic tube, very comfortable in your hand. Uh, the bobbin kit will include uh, three extra precision machined aluminum spools. And also, this is called a spool arbor. It's used to transfer thread onto those aluminum spools. Let's take a look and see how that works. First, the bobbin itself. It comes apart real easy. We can spread the frame. The center hub pushes out. This center hub, this is the part right here that has the spring and the clutch in it that really does the work. To put thread on these bobbin spools, you use this arbor. One of the more popular ways of doing it is with an electric drill. Use this little battery powered drill here. Set that arbor in there. We'll take a spool of thread. And uh, these things come on a variety of uh, sizes and whatnot. Just wrap it onto that aluminum spool like you're starting to tie a fly. And what I'm going to use here is a bobbin frame. And using the drill, you can transfer the thread onto that aluminum spool. Another real convenient way of putting thread onto these spools is use the vise itself. We'll remove the front hub. We're going to use our spool arbor. You'll find that one side will fit right onto the vise like so and tighten it in place. We'll slide the spool onto the arbor. Take our working thread get it started, like so. Now, transfer that onto our little wrench there, and we can spin that on using the vise. This works really slick when you're someplace where that electric drill isn't handy. And you find that, boy, you can load them up pretty quick, too. It doesn't take hardly any time at all to borrow some thread from your fishing buddy when you're in camp. There we go. When you fill these things up, try to make them about two-thirds full. It'll work a lot better that way. You're going to find that it's going to hold oh, anywhere from 50 to 500 yards of thread. Uh, depends on what caliber of thread we're using. Okay, now the next thing that we need to do is to find out what direction to put that thing onto our bobbin frame. First, I'm going to put the jaws of the vise back in place here. There'll be a reason for that in a second. Okay, we take our bobbin spool with thread on it and the hub. Put them together like so to test it to see if it is in the proper direction. Hold the bobbin hub between your thumb and forefinger and pull out on the thread. Now if it doesn't rewind like that, it's on backwards. Push the hub out, turn it around, and you'll find it'll work just perfect. Next, we want to find out how to put the bobbin thread through there in such a way that the bobbin will hang suspended. A lot of us have problems uh, with this because we rely on our intuition. It says that, okay, you come off of the spool and you go through that ceramic tube just like that, and it'll work. Problem is, bobbin doesn't stay up. What we need to do is to wrap that thread once or twice around the frame or leg of the bobbin like this. That'll provide enough friction, so now when you put it up there, it'll hang suspended wherever you leave it. That's the way it's supposed to work. Finally, when we're finishing off our fly, that's the reason, that hook there, let's Put a half inch in. Okay, now we've finished our fly. If we cut our thread, like so, with our scissors, what's going to happen? That thread's going to go zing onto the bobbin spool and we get to re-thread the thing. Kind of frustrating. Two ways to avoid that. First, if you exceed the length of the spring, which is about 14 inches, 
the clutch will kick in, let new thread slip out. You can come back, it'll only retrieve the first 14 inches. You can cut your thread, lay the bobbin down, everything's fine. Another way to avoid having to re-spool or to re-thread your bobbin is that when we're ready to finish off the fly, we'll go ahead and do our half hitch whip finishes or whatever. Hold the thread, trim it off without letting go. We wrap this around the little button on our thread post. Now it's ready to go. You just leave it there until you're ready to start your next fly. Touch the spool, get it started, and we're off and running. One of the things that there's a lot of talk about is thread tension, or how tightly we're tying. Now, when we want to regulate the tension on the automatic bobbin to, to tie tightly, we simply touch the spool, and then however hard you pull is how much tension you get. So you can tie very, very tightly like this, or very, very lightly. It's just a matter of how hard you're pulling. Of course, the big advantage of the automatic bobbin is being able to get the thread out of the way so you can turn the hook and yet immediately come right back up to the hook to tie in materials or whatever your next procedure is. You're going to really love these automatic bobbins. They're terrific.